Hi, I miss all my preschool people very, very much. I hope you are staying busy practicing your names and your letters. Today, we're going to read a book about Curious George. Curious George, are you curious? This is George. George is a good little monkey and always very curious. Do you ever feel like George? Do you ever feel very happy? Are you sometimes loud? Have you ever felt scared or hurt or proud? Do you ever feel very sick or dizzy? Are you sometimes sad or silly? Have you ever felt so naughty that you needed a time out? Or are you mischievous? Are you curious? Do you ever feel like George? We're gonna read Curious George and the Firefighters. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, George and the man with the yellow hat were on a field trip to the fire station. The fire chief was waiting for them right next to the big red fire truck. Welcome, he said, and he led everyone upstairs to begin their tour. George was curious about everything in the fire station. He slid down the pole there was a great big fire truck and a whole wall full of coats, hats, and big black boots. George tried on a pair of boots. Next, he picked out a helmet. And finally, George put on a jacket. He was a firefighter. Suddenly, bring! The firefighters rushed in and jumped into the truck. And so did George. Is George supposed to be on the truck? The truck wa went fast to get to the fire. Woo, 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 went the whistle, and George held on tight. The fire was at a pizza parlor on Main Street. Smoke was coming out the window in the back, and a crowd was gathering in the street. The firefighters rushed off the truck and started unwinding their hose. They knew just what to do, and George was ready to help. Together, they put out the fire as quick as can be. Hooray! Before long, the fire truck was back at the fire station, where a familiar voice called, George! It was the man with the yellow hat. This little monkey had quite an adventure, said one of the firefighters. For a final treat, all the children got to take a ride around the neighborhood on a shiny red fire truck. What a brave little monkey. Let's read one more. Curious George, Day at the Farm. Today, George and the man with the yellow hat are visiting the Jackson family farm. There is so much to explore and many animals to meet. George is going to have lots of fun. Do you think he's probably going to get in some trouble? Let's see. Millie the cow is ready to be milked, and George is going to help. But Mr. Jackson needs his stool to sit on and his pail to catch the milk. George will fill the bottles. Can you find the things they need? Let's look really close. So the farmer needs his stool and his pail, and George is going to fill the bottles. Next, George will gather the eggs in the hen house. There are hens and chicks everywhere. Chirp, chirp, the chicks say. George is curious. How many eggs will he find? Can you count the eggs and the chicks too? I don't know. That's a lot of chicks. Okay, so Let's count the chicks first. We're not counting the big chickens. We're just counting the little chicks, okay? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh goodness, and there's one coming out of the egg. Fifteen. Do you think we can count the eggs? Let's try. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, one broken one, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we got them all. If you found any more, let me know. Who's ready for a snack? George is. But he helps Mr. Jackson feed the other animals first. There's hay for the horse and cow, milk for the lamb, slop for the pigs, and some water for Sparky. And of course, the perfect treat for George, a banana cream pie. When snack time is over, George and Mr. Jackson harvest a rainbow of vegetables, carrots, beans, lettuce, celery, potatoes, cauliflower, and more. What colors does George see? Let's see. So we have some red, orange, purple, green, white, yellow, and brown. Let's see, what do we have? We have some car the carrots, where are the beans? There's the beans. The lettuce, where do you think the lettuce is? Do you think that's the lettuce? Potatoes, the cauliflower. Those might be eggplants, you think? I think so. All right, looks good to me. George, George ends the day with a bouncy, bumpy hayride out to the pumpkin patch. He and Sparky pick out the biggest pumpkin they can find for George to take home. What a wonderful day at the farm. Looks like a fun day. I love picking pumpkins. What about you guys? Not quite the season for that, but it will be soon. So that is it for today. We will read some more about Curious George next time. I love you guys. See you later.